This force is invisible, yet it moves machines, powers cars, and even helps contain the energy of stars. You can't see it, but it's inside your phone, your car, your fridge, and even the power plants that light up entire cities. Without it, the modern world would collapse in an instant. Magnets. They feel almost magical, yet they are everywhere, silently holding our world together. And now, as we face a future shaped by clean energy and technological ambition, magnets are becoming more important and more contested than ever before. What makes them so vital, and who controls them? Let's find out. The hidden engines of modern life. Magnets are everywhere, but they rarely get any credit. They don't glow, beep, or blink. Yet quietly, they power the world around us. Look inside your smartphone, and you'll find magnets in the speaker, the microphone, the camera, and even in the vibrating motor. Your laptop, your fridge, your car, your fan, none of them would function without magnets. They are the invisible engines behind motion and energy, silently making things move, spin, sound, and respond. Take away magnets, and the entire system crumbles. Your car won't start. Your computer won't boot. Your phone won't ring. Hospitals would shut down. Factories would freeze. It wouldn't feel like a slowdown. It would feel like the world just stopped. What's even more surprising is that this quiet technology is only becoming more essential. As we shift away from fossil fuels, we rely more and more on electric vehicles and renewable energy. Wind turbines, for example, need powerful magnets to generate electricity. Electric motors need them to run. Without magnets, none of this would work. They're not just helping us build a cleaner future. They're making that future possible. But that future also comes with risk, because the way we make these magnets and where we get the materials from is far from secure. And that's where the story gets even more interesting. The rare Earth puzzle. The magnets powering our clean energy future depend on rare Earth elements, specifically metals like neodymium and dysprosium. These elements aren't actually rare in quantity, but they're scattered thinly across the planet, making extraction and refinement complex and costly. Right now, nearly all of this happens in one country, China. China doesn't just mine these materials. Over decades, it has built a vertically integrated supply chain from raw extraction to finished magnets. That dominance gives it enormous power. Today, 92% of the world's rare earth magnets come from Chinese factories. So when global industries, from electric vehicles to military technology, look for these components, they all end up knocking on the same door. And that door can close. Back in 2010, after a maritime dispute with Japan, China reportedly restricted rare earth exports. Prices skyrocketed. Industries panicked. It was a moment of reckoning. The world realized it wasn't just facing an energy transition. It was entering a new kind of geopolitical contest. One fought not with oil, but with minerals. Now, countries are racing to secure new supplies and develop alternatives. But competing with China's well-oiled system? That's proving harder than anyone expected. Digging for independence. In response to China's grip on rare earths, other nations are scrambling to find their own sources. Europe, in particular, is feeling the pressure. Despite its push for clean energy, it has zero operational rare earth mines. That's why a remote site in Norway has drawn serious attention. Beneath its surface lies what could be the largest rare earth deposit in Europe. But discovering the elements is just the beginning. The journey from raw ore to high-performance magnet is long and expensive. Permitting takes years. Environmental concerns spark local resistance. Building a full supply chain from scratch requires billions in investment and a skilled workforce. 
The Norwegian mine, for example, won't begin large-scale production for at least a decade. That timeline clashes with global climate goals that demand rapid decarbonization. Meanwhile, demand for rare earths is soaring, especially for use in wind turbines, EVs, and defense systems. So while countries may dream of rare earth independence, the reality is a slow, uphill climb. And with the clock ticking on both climate change and economic competition, the world can't afford to wait. That's where science might offer a different way forward. Reinventing the magnet. What if we didn't need rare earths at all? That's the question scientists like Jianping Wang have been chasing for decades. At the University of Minnesota, he's been working on a new kind of magnet made from iron and nitrogen, two of the most abundant elements on Earth. The result is iron nitride, a material that could one day replace rare earth magnets entirely. But turning this idea into a usable product hasn't been easy. Iron nitride is notoriously difficult to stabilize. Making it at scale? Even harder. Still, Wang and his team didn't give up. They built custom machines, tested new techniques, and slowly improved the magnet's strength and durability. Their breakthrough led to the launch of Nyron Magnetics, a startup that has since raised over $100 million. Using a nanoparticle-based process, Nyron now creates magnets without any rare earths. They're already targeting industries like audio and electronics, with future plans for electric vehicles. There's still work to be done. Iron nitride isn't perfect. It struggles in high magnetic environments, like spinning motors. But with more research, it might one day rival or even surpass traditional magnets and break our rare earth dependency for good. Now first, like always, be sure to hit the like button down below. It helps us out tremendously with the reach of this video. Thank you. Magnets at the edge of science. While startups like Nyron are rethinking magnets for today's world, others are designing magnets for a future that feels almost science fiction. Enter nuclear fusion, the dream of producing limitless clean energy by replicating the process that powers the sun. To make it work on Earth, scientists need to trap plasma heated to over 100 million degrees Celsius. The only way to do that? Magnets. Extremely powerful ones. That's where Commonwealth Fusion Systems comes in. Spun out of MIT, the company is building the strongest magnets of their kind using a material called High Temperature Superconductor, or HTS. These aren't your typical copper coils. HTS comes in the form of thin, flexible tape and can carry huge electric currents without generating heat, making it far more efficient. These magnets make fusion reactors smaller, cheaper, and more feasible to build. In theory, it's a game changer. Commonwealth has already raised billions in funding, and they're racing to complete their first commercial fusion plant by the early 2030s. But the challenges are real. Fusion has never produced net energy at scale. Still, the magnet tech is moving fast, and it just might be the missing link to unlocking star power on Earth. The race to control the force. As magnets become central to clean energy, transportation, and even fusion, they're no longer just a scientific curiosity. They're strategic assets. And in this new era, whoever controls the magnet supply chain holds serious global influence. China recognized this early and built dominance through long-term investment and policy. Now, other countries are playing catch-up. Governments and corporations alike are pouring money into magnet research, mining, and manufacturing. The U.S. is funding rare earth mining projects and supporting companies like Nyron. The EU is exploring deposits and building alliances to reduce dependency. Automakers are investing directly in magnet startups to secure materials for their EV lines. But this isn't just an economic race, it's geopolitical. 
A disruption in magnet supply can paralyze entire industries, from green tech to defense. It's no longer just about powering your car. It's about powering a nation's future. The world has entered an era where the quiet pull of magnets is felt everywhere, economically, politically, and technologically. What used to be hidden inside machines is now front and center on the global stage. And the battle to control magnetism may shape the next century, just as oil did last century. Magnetic Frontiers The magnets aren't standing still. They're evolving, becoming smaller, stronger, and smarter. Scientists and engineers are no longer just discovering magnetic materials. They're designing them from the atomic level up, tweaking their molecular structures to achieve precise properties. It's the same trajectory we've seen with lithium batteries and computer chips. Slow, steady progress that suddenly reshapes the world. At the edge of this frontier are ultra-specialized magnets with purposes beyond energy. In medical devices, magnetic fields guide targeted drug delivery. In data storage, advanced magnets hold vast amounts of information in smaller and smaller spaces. In quantum computing, magnetic properties are being harnessed to manage qubits. Each breakthrough, however technical, pushes the limits of what magnets can do. Back in the lab, researchers continue to chase the perfect material, the one that's cheap, abundant, powerful, and stable. It doesn't exist yet, but they're getting closer. What's clear is this. Magnets are no longer just components. They're levers of innovation. Every leap in magnet technology brings with it the potential to rewire entire systems from how we travel to how we power our lives. The future isn't just electric, it's magnetic, and it's arriving fast. This quiet force, once just a scientific curiosity, is now at the center of a global race. Magnets hold the keys to electric vehicles, wind energy, medical breakthroughs, and even the dream of fusion power. But they also expose vulnerabilities, geopolitical dependencies, and technological gaps. From the mines of Norway to the labs of Minnesota, the world is scrambling to rethink magnetism before the stakes grow even higher. In the end, whoever shapes the next generation of magnets won't just control components, they'll shape the future. And that future is being forged right now, one invisible force at a time. Let's keep watching.